Hey everybody, good afternoon. This is Beth Reese, founder of Yogi News Yoga for Youth. So glad you're here. Thanks for stopping into our O Musings blog. And I've been writing today about an experience I had this week at Goldberg Montessori School. Such an amazing faculty and campus. Um, the faculty was really involved and intrigued and really ready to bring in some of these innovative techniques into their classroom. Um, and these are techniques I've been teaching for about 10 years to individuals, teachers, parents, families. And today I wanna to share with you one in particular. Um, and it was really one that stood out for the teachers as their big aha. And it's called belly breathing. Uh, sometimes we use a tool like the Hoberman Sphere and call it ball breath. I have some variations to teach you today. And um, also known technically as diaphragmatic breathing. And that's because we're really, when we breathe in, we're going to expand our belly and breathe out and let it just soften. So there's no forcing, we're not sucking in our gut. And one of the things the teachers and I, we talked about is, I think especially for women, we are taught to suck in our gut and do all these like weird contorted like circus-like things um, that really aren't healthy. And it may be part of uh, what society wants to create as a social construction for what a thin woman is supposed to look like, and it's just not healthy. And I'm so glad that society is finally catching up with the fact that um, we really shouldn't be sucking in our gut. There's, there's no reason it's not natural and it's not healthy. Some of the benefits of diaphragmatic or belly breathing include, um, and there's research out there and there's a link in the amusing blog today about that, um, but you can lower, decrease uh, stress so you're more relaxed. You can lower your heart rate and blood pressure. So those are some great things. It also, the way we're gonna learn to breathe, it strengthens the muscles on the interior of your belly, which really helps strengthen your core. And when your core is stronger, you have more stamina. And when you have more stamina, like you're just more alive and focused and ready to, to learn and experience life. So I assert that by belly breathing, we're also going to create human beings who are um, who feel more alive and happy and who have more stamina and ability to learn and therefore become more successful in things like academics, relationships, on the soccer field. All right, are you ready? So the first way I like to teach belly breath is to take your kind hands and put them on your belly. It's so maybe like, you know, depending on a character you might want to reference. Um, but in any case, so they're here on my belly. And I'm gonna breathe in through my nose. And as I breathe in, I'm gonna let my belly expand. So it looks something like this. Not holding my breath, exhaling. Now I do often breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. A lot of people like to breathe in and out of their nose. One of the benefits of breathing in through your nose is that your nose serves as a filter, like a natural filter. Um, for pollutants, allergens. So that's one reason it's really important to breathe in through your nose. So let's try three of those already. So hands in your belly and we're gonna breathe in. I'm really just letting all the air exhale out. Never holding my breath. And sometimes I'll put the tongue on the roof of my mouth, which is also a signal both for the body to calm down. And that has me feel like I'm breathing out of my gills. Okay, so that's belly breath or diaphragmatic breathing. Now, another way I like to teach this is to take the Hoberman sphere. And this is really helpful because for our visual learners, it really helps them see that, you know, like this Hoberman sphere, our own bodies are three dimensional. And so that we can breathe in and really fill our front body, our side bodies, and our back body. Really fill it three-dimensionally like the work of art we are. And then use this to exhale slowly and let everything just come back to a softened place. 
Hoberman Sphere is a great classroom management tool. You can hand it to your friend in your classroom who's making a great choice, have them lead belly or ball breathing in front of everybody. You could start your circle time in the day or use it as part of your community circle. Um, if you're doing some social justice work at your school, and maybe the person who's sharing gets to start by leading a belly breath. Um, now, if you don't have this handy, guess what? There's something uh, sort of teaching on the fly I did once. I was teaching in an urban elementary school, and there was a, a young friend, about a fourth grader, um, who was having a moment. He was definitely feeling the fire of anger. And I just immediately thought, what sport do you like? He said, football. I'm like, all right, let's do football breath. Let's take our hands and make it a football. And we're going to breathe in and make that football get big and breathe out and make that football get smaller. And so part of what that did, and even pushing our fingers together a little bit when the football comes back together, that pushing in, I'm contracting muscles, I'm compressing some joints and muscles, so that's telling my body to calm down. It also gives this visual focus, right? And part of what's great um, is all these tools and something I'm learning from my, my teachers, Tara Brock and Jack Cornfield, is we want people to do these breathings. Um, we want people to do uh, skills and tools that can help their body calm down. But one of the really great parts of this from a mindfulness standpoint is we're inviting the brain to pause. So if there's something going on, if there's like the heat of, of anger is building in the body and someone's about to have a reaction, like a habitual reaction, like knowing that you can create football breath or soccer ball breath or ball breath or Hoverman sphere breath or belly breath or flower power breath, whatever it is, that moment creates that space and that pause to pause that habitual reaction, do practice some self-regulation tools that help our body slow down, and then we can really become aware and intentional about the response we wanna generate. All right, friends, that is belly breathing, diaphragmatic breathing. Uh, the blog that, um, the amusing blog that this tool is connected with is uh, three tools for preschools and beyond. It's uh, tried and true skills I've been teaching, again, to parents, teachers, families for over 10 years. And it just really has come to me that it's time to really be out there uh, with you guys sharing this work. And, you know, let me know how it works. Let me know where you take it. All right, have a great day. And let me know how it works. Hop on our Facebook page or Instagram page, Twitter, I'm on LinkedIn, Beth Reese. Let me know what you're noticing is shifting in your life and be sure to share it. Thanks. Be amazing. Have a great day.